Now in this video, we'll discuss another very important fundamental in case of a parabola and which is equation of a normal. So suppose we have a parabola y square equals 4x. Now from any point on this parabola, say which is a t square twice a t, a normal is drawn. We have to find equation of this normal. Now we know that for any point p lying on parabola, a t square twice a t, slope of tangent is given by 1 upon t. Now, if slope of tangent is 1 upon t, then we can write slope of normal, it will be minus t. So at any point p on this parabola, slope of normal is defined as minus t. Now, we have slope. We also have this point. We can write this equation as y minus y1, which is y minus twice a t equals minus t, and then x minus a t square. So we can write this equation as y plus tx equals at cube plus 2at. So equation of any normal to parabola y square equals 4ax will be of the form y plus tx equals at cube plus 2at where t is the parameter of the point from which this normal is drawn. Now we can also write this equation in terms of slope. So we know that t equals minus m where m is slope of normal. So we'll replace t with minus m. We can write this equation as y equals mx minus a m cube minus 2 a m. So equation of normal to a parabola in terms of slope of normal is y equals mx minus a m cube minus 2 a m. And in terms of parameter t, it is y plus tx equals a t cube plus 2at. So this is the equation of normal for the first form, which is y square equals 4ax. If we have this parameter t, we can write this point from which normal is drawn and we can also write its equation. If we have slope of normal also, then too we can write equation of normal to this parabola and we can also write this point of contact, which we actually call foot of normal. So this point P, which is foot of normal, this T is minus M. So this point is AT square to AT. So we can write this point as AM square minus 2AM. So if slope of a normal is M, then the point from which this normal is drawn is given by AM square minus 2am and this point p it lies on this given parabola which is y square equals 4ax so now we can start writing the results so if the equation is y square equals 4ax we can write equation of normal as y plus tx equals at cube plus 2at or y equals mx minus a m cube minus 2 a m. Now, if the equation is of the second form, which is y square equals minus 4 a x, then all we need to do is replace a with minus a. In that case, equation of tangent will be y plus t x equals minus a t cube minus 2 a t or y equals mx plus a m cube plus 2 a m. Now we'll come to this third equation of parabola and that is x square equals 4 a y. Now we know that for this parabola, any point on this parabola, we can write this as 2 a t comma a t square. Now, if we'll differentiate this, we'll get 2x dx upon dy 
and this is 4a. So we can write slope of normal at this point P as minus dx upon dy at this point P and it'll be minus 2a upon x and x here is 280. So it'll simply be minus 1 upon t. So now we have this slope and we also have this point. So we can write this equation as y minus y1, y minus a t square, and this is minus 1 upon t and x minus 280. So we can write this equation as ty minus a t cube minus x plus 280. So we can write this equation as x plus ty and this is a t cube plus 280 which is nearly same as this first equation. So if in the first form if we interchange x and y we get this third form and if in the equation of normal to this first form if we interchange x and y we get equation of normal for this third form which is x plus ty equals a t cube plus 280. Now we also know equation of normal in terms of slope for the first form. So if for the first form again we interchange x and y we can write this as x equals and I'll take this as some m dash y. So m dash y minus a m dash cube minus 2a m dash then we can write this as m dash y equals x plus a m dash cube plus 2a m dash. So we'll divide with m dash we'll write y equals 1 upon m dash x plus a m dash square plus 2a. Now 1 upon m dash is slope of this normal. So let slope of this normal is m. So we can add this equation as y equals mx plus a upon m square plus 2a. So in terms of slope, its equation will be y equals mx plus a upon m square plus 2a. Now we can verify this from this equation also. We know that slope of normal is minus 1 upon t. So we'll put t as minus 1 by m. We can write this equation as x minus 1 by m by and this is minus a by m cube minus 2a by m. Now we'll multiply it with m. So we'll write mx minus y minus a upon m square minus 2a. Now we'll rearrange. We can write this as y equals mx plus a by m square plus 2a which is same as this equation. So that means equation of normal for this third form will be x plus ty equals a t cube plus 280 in terms of parameter t and it will be y equals mx plus a upon m square plus 2a in terms of slope of a normal. Now in the same way we can write result for this fourth form which is x square equals minus 4ay so it will be x plus ty and then we will write this as minus a t cube minus 280 and here it will be y equals mx minus a upon m square and then minus 2a. So this is how we can write equation of normal for all the four forms of parabola. Now suppose we are not given parabola in the standard form but we are given a parabola whose axes are parallel to coordinate axis. Say for example suppose we have this parabola which is y minus k whole square equals 4a x minus h. So for this parabola what we'll do is we'll compare it with the standard parabola which is capital Y square equals 4a capital X. Now for this parabola we know that equation of normal it will be capital Y equals m capital X minus a m cube minus 2 a m. Now in place of y we'll write y minus k and in place of x we'll write x minus h. So we'll write this equation as y minus k equals m x minus h minus a m cube minus 2 a m. So from these general equations we can write 
equation of tangent and normal to parabolas whose axes are parallel to x axis or y axis so let us take up an example say for example suppose we need to find equation of normal to parabola y square equals 8 x plus 2 whose slope is say 3 units now we'll compare it with the standard equation we can write capital y square equals 4a capital x now here a is 2 capital y is equal to small y and capital x is x plus 2 and the value of m is 3 so we can write equation of normal as capital y equals m capital x minus am cube minus 2 am now capital y is simply y so this is y what is the value of m m is 3 so it will be 3 and then in place of x we will write x plus 2 and then minus a a is 2 so it will be 2 m cube so it will be 2 into 3 cube and minus 2a so there will be 4 into 3 so we can write this equation as y equals 3x plus 6 And it'll be fifty-four minus twelve, so it should be y equals three x minus sixty. So equation of normal to this parabola, y square equals eight x plus two, whose slope is three s. Y equals three x minus sixty. Now let us consider some questions on normal of a parabola. Now it says if x plus y equals k is normal to y square equals twelve x, then Find the value of k. Now we know that for this line, slope is minus one, and for this parabola, y square equals four ax. Value of a is simply three. So equation of normal is y equals m x minus a m cube minus two a m. So we can write this equation as y equals now m is minus one, so it'll be minus x, and then m cube, so it'll be minus minus plus, and then a it is three. And then plus six, so we can write this equation as x plus y equals nine. So that means value of k is simply nine, and that's your option number B. Now here the question is: Let L be a normal to parabola y square equals four x, and if L passes through the point nine comma six, then L is given by which of the following equations? So now for this parabola, we know value of a is simply one. So we can write equation of normal as y equals m x minus a m cube and minus two a m. Now we need the normal which passes through the point nine comma six. So we'll put this value. So six equals nine m minus m cube minus two m. So we can write this equation as m cube minus seven m and then plus. Six equals to zero, so we can write this equation as m cube minus m and then minus six m minus one. So we'll get this equation as m and then here'll be m square minus one, so it'll be a plus b a minus b. So m plus one, m minus one minus six, m minus one equals to zero. So we'll take m minus one common, then we can write m square plus m. Minus six equals to zero, so it'll be m minus one, and then m minus two, m plus three equals to zero. So that means we get three values of m. M is one, or two, or m is minus three. So from this point, three normals can be drawn. So now there'll be three normals that can be. Drawn from this point, nine comma six. So we'll take m as one. Then we'll get this equation as y equals x, and then minus three. So then the equation will be y minus x plus three equals to zero, and that's your option number A. Now if we'll take m as two, we'll get this equation as y equals two x minus eight. Minus four, so in that case, equation will be y minus two x plus twelve equals to zero, and that's your option number D. So if the value of m is minus three, in that case, we'll write this equation as y equals minus three x 
and then minus m cube so it will be plus 27 and then plus 6 so we can add this equation as y plus 3x minus 33 equals to 0 and that's your option number b so answer to this question is option a b and d